We're seeing humidity values increase across the eastern parts of Texas, while the western half of the state, we're gearing up for a potentially busy wildfire weekend. Let's talk about it in this Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It's Thursday, the 10th of April, 2025. Get out your yawnometers because my allergies are back, and with it, apparently the yawning, uncontrollable yawning at times, is back as well. So, get ready to start counting. Good news? Well, I guess the good news is we're not dealing with tornadoes over the next several days. That's always nice and beneficial. We need rain. Unfortunately, we're not getting that. Well, parts of the state need rain, let me clarify. Those of you in deep south Texas, you don't need rain for a while. But everyone else, you probably need rain. So we could use some rain. We're just not going to get any for quite a while. Here's the high-rise rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Friday. Severe clear remains the predominant mode of the weather across the state. Some cloud cover. In northeast Texas this afternoon, and then maybe a wee bit across the state tomorrow morning to start off the day. A few upper-level clouds on Friday afternoon and evening transversing the state. So I guess we actually do have a few clouds to talk about now. I know, right? Uh, it's definitely very interesting for sure. Uh, needless to say... No precipitation is on the way. Here's wildfire danger for the next few days. This is going to start becoming a problem again, especially across the western half of the state. Today and tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with high fire danger across the western third to the western half of Texas. Saturday and Sunday have the potential to be a problem with increasing winds, especially on Sunday, leading to extreme wildfire danger. The Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin, the Concho Valley, the Hill Country, into the Big Bend, the Trans-Pecos, Davis, Guadalupe Mounds, and the Borderland of Far West Texas. Uh, Lawn and west of Interstate 35 appears to be the predominant risk area for a uptick in wildfire danger going into this weekend. I was hoping last week's rains would have done more to, well, prevent this, but unfortunately a majority of that fell across the eastern half of the state. And with dry weather since and very hot temperatures expected this weekend, things are just drying out very quickly. So... East Texas, good news is your fire danger looks to remain low for a while. Everyone else, I'm afraid not. Here's the Long Range American weather model. The global forecast system going into the weekend, we're going to see an uptick in southerly winds on Saturday and Sunday. That's going to, in combination with very warm temperatures and low humidity, bring a Pretty noticeable uptick in wildfire danger to the state. Going into Sunday night and Monday, you notice we're starting to see an uptick in cloud cover. Western and northwestern parts of the state, a cool front moving south on Monday. Maybe a few very light showers at this point. It's not looking impressive precipitation-wise. That'll bring northerly winds and a cool down to the state going into Monday and Tuesday. And then as we go into Tuesday afternoon, evening, notice an uptick in southerly winds. Maybe a few showers in the western quarter of the state in the borderland going into Wednesday. Things may start getting a little more active. The American Weather Model Global Forecast System showing maybe some thunderstorms in the panhandle into Oklahoma. The rest of the state, though, it doesn't look promising for the time being. And of course, we're talking about something six days away. So there's a good chance it's going to change. Um, clear indications, though, we're going to stay dry through the weekend and probably a vast majority of the state for the next seven days. Here's the forecast rain totals through 7 p.m. Wednesday. Technically, yeah, about actually, this is through 7 a.m. Thursday. We'll just say 7 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, notice the Weather Prediction Center not really showing much, if any, rain in Texas over the next seven days. Uh, rain today, tomorrow, into Saturday, eastern third of the United States. We have rain up in the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Plains. We get nothing. Kind of like a summer weather pattern, isn't it? That's not usually good in early April. But uh, things will be changing as we get into the second half of next week and beyond, it looks like. We're probably going to get pretty active again 
in the storm department, especially as we get towards the, well, fourth week of April. Here are today's high temperature forecast, high temperature forecast temperatures. There we go. Words are difficult. Uh, 70s in the panhandle, 80s everywhere else with the exception of Central Texas, the Contra Valley, the Hill Country, the Edwards Plateau, the Big Bend into the Rio Grande Plains. Y'all are in the 90s this afternoon. Tomorrow, Generally speaking, we're looking at mid to upper 70s, the Arklatex, Northeast Texas, Texoma, with 80s and 90s everywhere else. We start really warming it up on Saturday. We're going to have 90s, the western half of the state, upper 90s down the Permian Basin, the Trans-Pecos, the Borderland, El Paso, 96. Someone's probably going to hit 100 on Saturday in the state. Uh, 70s to low to mid 80s eastern half of the state with increased humidity so it's going to start feeling more muggy going into sunday things get rather n atrocious uh you'd be mistaken for thinking this was july uh highs upper 90s from northwest texas the eastern panhandle through the big country permian basin down into the edwards plateau rio grande plains triple digit temperatures are certainly plausible in parts of the Edwards Plateau, Rio Grande Plains, into even parts of northwest Texas. There will probably be several locations that do top 100 degrees going into Sunday afternoon. And then we're going to start seeing a cold front push south into the state Sunday night and Monday, bringing northerly winds and a pretty substantial drop in temperatures compared to what they are going to be on Friday and Saturday. Amarillo, you know, Y'all are going to be probably in the 90s Saturday. Guess what? You're going to be probably 25 to 30 degrees cooler going into Monday afternoon. And that cool down will continue into Tuesday as the cold front pushes south across the state. But before then, we're going to see compressional heating leading to very warm to hot temperatures on Monday, with temperatures easily making it into the triple digits in South Texas, the Edwards Plateau, and the Rio Grande Plains. Beyond that, the April 17th through 23rd time frame, above average temperatures looking likely across the western half of the United States, according to the Climate Prediction Center. Cooler than average temperatures, eastern half of the United States, with the exception of Florida. And then here is the precipitation outlook, still looking like, hopefully, we'll be into a bit of a wet pattern by then, with slightly above average chances for a above average period of precipitation across, excuse me, Texas, and really the eastern half of the United States. But of course, with that, in April, anytime you see that, there's also a decent chance we'll be dealing with a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. Specifics on that as we get closer, of course. But next few days, increasing wildfire danger and west of Interstate 35, so the western half to 60% of Texas, especially going into this weekend. It's going to be windy this weekend statewide with a pretty noticeable cold front arriving Sunday night, Monday, and Monday night across the state, changing us to northerly winds and a pretty much a 20 to 30 degree drop in temperatures. So that'll be it for your Thursday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. As always, please hit that like button. Click subscribe if you want to get notified for new Texas Weather Roundup videos. Hit that bell to get notified when we publish new videos. And of course... If you want to join our members only discord server become a member here on the youtube channel and that'll grant you access to the members only discord server along with other benefits you can find us on the web texasstormchasers.com and if you want your local weather forecast interactive weather radar and more search for the free texas storm chasers mobile app where you download apps for your device we'll be back bright and early on friday didn't have to really use that yawn meter much did you that's it adios Omaswa, Peter Zane. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Mm -hmm.